I gotta be honest with you. If I was going to a wedding, I would definitely want these guys there. <laughs> guys welcome back I am Nighthawk as you know and today we are back with another movie review today we're reviewing a comedy instead of a horror movie we're reviewing Mike and Dave need wedding dates now I think the hardest thing that you guys need to know is that reviewing a comedy is probably the hardest part of movie reviewing due to the fact that it's hard to review a comedy when you can't tell anyone the jokes, you don't want to spoil any jokes for them. So I'm going to give you the basics, and then I'm going to give you what I thought about it, because that's the easiest way for me to do it, so that's the way we're going to do it. So as Zac Efron and that dude from Modern Family who plays Andy, his name escapes me, I don't know. Um, so they're brothers, and their parents tell them that they have to bring a date dates to their daughter's wedding, because every family event that they've been to has basically been, well, f fucked up by them, basically. That's the way it kind of goes. Um, but, so they find these girls, and these girls are fake. They, like, want to get a free trip out of Hawaii, free trip to Hawaii out of them, just so they can, like, get a vacation and get Anna Kendrick's mind off something that I don't want to spoil for you, because, the, see, this is the hardest part of reviewing, reviewing a comedy movie, because you kind of don't want to spoil anything, really. But anyway, Havoc and Susan, and i got to be honest with you guys, this is probably one of the funniest movies I've seen this year, mainly because Zac Efron and the dude, whose name I forget, sorry, but these two have, like, the best chemistry that I've seen on screen for a while. I mean, I've seen some pretty good chemistry this year between a lot of, like, partners. Like, I've seen some good ones between uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart in Central Intelligence, and... Uh, Deadpool and uh, Weasel from, well, Deadpool. Um, but I'm going to be honest, they, these two did do a great job. They had great chemistry. They had great comedy together. There were a few parts of this movie where I was I was pretty much red in the face crying because it was so funny. I honestly walked into this movie thinking, okay, this is going to be the summer movie that I've been waiting for, and it's either going to be good or it's going to be bad, and that's the way it's going to be. But honestly, no, that's kind of the way that I was really happy to say that this was a pretty good movie. Because it was it was fast-paced, it was funny, it had a good story to it. And just, there were a few points where they did take, I think, the jokes a little, a step a little too far. Where you're like laughing, you know, really hard at that point. And then they take it a little more and you're kind of like, huh, that's uh, a little too far. Because honestly, there were a few jokes, I think, that went over the edge in this movie. But not too far over the edge to say, okay, that's not funny, that's just... A little, that's like funny, but it's gone a little too far, you know, a little out of hand. Um, and I gotta give props to the girls in this movie, because they did a lot of, um, the comedy too. Uh, Aubrey Plaza and Anna Kendrick, um, did a great job. They had great chemistry too. They felt like two stoner chicks who might as well have been sisters, because they kind of did feel like sisters, even though they're not. They're best friends. But honestly, I gotta say that Mike and Dave's Wedding Dates was... A funny time with a good story. Some of the jokes did go a little overpaced, but I think that I can I can forget that honestly. But I am gonna have to say that Mike and Dave need wedding dates. You should definitely check it out. And I say I am gonna give it a definite 7.2. Let's go with 7.2 because I honestly feel that it did deserve a pretty high ranking in the sevens. But yeah, so I want to hear what you thought about Mike and Dave need wedding dates right down below. And if you like this movie review, go check out my other movie review. I only have one at this point. It's The Shallows. Go check that out. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more movie stuff and some other stuff coming around, stick around, guys, because there's more. Because I'm not York, and I will see you next time.